What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. We have Tropical Storm Dawn that is still intensifying out in the subtropical Atlantic. We have 95L that is having some trouble organizing as of right now. So we'll go ahead and show you what's going on right here. We have sub we have Tropical Storm Dawn, Dawn rather 65 mile per hour winds up from 60. Pressure's down at 995 millibars, moving north at 13 miles per hour. Location is at 39.1 degrees north, 50.1 degrees west. And there is a potential for this to get up to 70 miles per hour last time I checked. However, considering that the waters are going to get colder as time continues to go on, if it does get to 70, I'll be quite impressed, honestly. But anything other than that, it's not going to be happening. I'm sorry, but just it's not getting up to hurricane strength. Now we're going to go ahead and show you 95L, which is the talk of the town right now. And earlier this morning, it had a 70% chance of development due to organization and all that stuff with a deep convective system right here. We're going to go ahead and go back about 90 frames out just to show you what I'm talking about. We had this whole thing that was going on yesterday right here on the western side of it. That has since calmed down. And now we have another burst of convection that's near the center of circulation now. It's getting a little bit closer, so definitely something to continue to keep an eye on right here. However, it is having some organization troubles, but it's a much better place than it was 48 hours ago. So this is what we got from the NHC right here. Shower activity associated with a small area of low pressure located roughly midway between the Cabo Verde Islands and Lesser Antilles has become a little less organized since yesterday. Environmental conditions are forecast to remain conducive for some gradual development, and this system could be a tropical system early next week while it moves westward across the tropical Atlantic. Lesser Antilles should continue monitoring this. Earlier this morning, we were at a 70% chance of development in the next seven days. Now we're down to a 60% in 48 uh, hours. We're down to a 40%, was 50% earlier t uh, this morning. So that's what we have going on right here with this we're going to show you some satellite imagery we're going to go ahead and show you the true color to kind of give you a grasp of what's going on with this thing right here you're starting to see more convection starting to fire up a little bit closer to the center of circulation than we were yesterday we'll go ahead and show you that about let's go ahead and try to go out about 90 frames out just to show you what's going on with that you had some stuff starting and really blowing up in the western half of it. Now we're starting to see some more convection near the center of circulation, which if it can build off of that and build off that and continue to do that, well, let's just say that it won't have very many problems developing. Right now it's in a nice moist pocket right here. You can see it right here. It's I apologize for that. That was tropical tidbits, but yeah. You can see that that moist uh, band right there is now pretty much to the north, no uh, north, maybe even the northeast of that. So it shouldn't have too many issues with development anymore going forward with this as there is enough moist air around it. And there's also plenty of warm water for this thing to work off of. This also has a lot of time left. It's not the end of the world if it stops organizing right now. It has plenty of time until it gets to Lesser Antilles. It's not going to get there for another two to three days. At least uh, that's from, from what I've been looking at. So it has plenty of time. The wind shear where it's at Plenty of weak wind shear, and that's going to continue until it approaches around South the South America, at least longitude-wise. So this still has probably another 36, 48 hours of low wind shear for it to get its act together. So if it's taking its time, it's not the end of the world for this system right here. But the global sea temperatures are absolutely fueling this thing. We're looking at 29 plus degrees Celsius temperatures across the main development region right now. It's the warmest we've seen on record. I know I see it, say this like a broken record but I really need to emphasize this because where this thing is at, there is a lot of fuel for this system, and if it can continue to organize and take advantage of that, things are going to explode pretty quickly, in my opinion at least. Now we're going to go ahead and show you the ocean heat content. A lot of values over 100 OHC across the MDR, so plenty of energy and fuel for this thing to get off the wind shear is pretty good as well. The moisture component is starting to get a little bit less dry and a little bit more moist. It's just having its own organization issues, which then again, it has plenty of time to fix and plenty of time to take care of itself. So that's the big situation we have going on right now. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and show you the track models and the intensity. Track models are a bit all over the place still. Some models have this thing starting to dissipate about four days out or so, considering the latest organization issues it is having. However, 
considering that it, it, it all the other conditions are pretty good, it, in my opinion, there's still plenty of time for this thing to organize, plenty of, this, of time for this to develop, and if it does develop, plenty of time for this to strengthen. So that's what we have going on right here. This is the latest track models. Intensity models... A majority of them have it keep it keep it around tropical storm or tropical depression strength right here. Some of them do get up to hurricane strength if it can develop quickly enough. And one of them has it going up to a category two strength right there, which I said yesterday on Pat's Path Predictor that I've pretty much ruled out anything more than a low end category two. And it's a good thing I did. I'm not willing to rule out anything else right now, primarily because it's still like the conditions are still really good. Like they're getting better by the hour. The more air is getting less dry by the hour. And, and you can even see this in water vapor in real time right here. This is where the dry air is right here. And that's a moist air band that's moving through. That's getting very close to, or right on top of that. And so, there's some convection that's firing up. That's, I'm not sure if that's related to the system or not, but it's starting to fire up just north of this right here. So something to pay attention to to see if that will be f fed into the invest, which if it does, well... And that moist air continues to tap, it, it, it continues to go move west, and this thing continues to tap into that. Then that's going to be a pretty interesting look to take a look at. And we'll go ahead and go back to infrared just to show you what we're kind of really taking a look at right here, at least over the last few hours. And at this thing, at this point, like this burst of convection that's going that you'll see right here. Let me show you what we're looking at. That burst of convection right there. If it does help and become part of this invest right here it could have some future implications for what happens with this but yeah for now i'm just leave taking leaving this on its own right now i'm not sure if it's affiliated or not but what i can say is that if this thing like in the next 24 hours if it organizes and becomes a tropical depression um, then things could start intensifying very quickly considering all the moist air it has to work with and all the conditions, like I said earlier. But if it takes a little bit longer to develop, if it takes like maybe 36 or even 48 hours for it to fully develop, then in my opinion, we're looking at something around around a tropical storm strength. I'm not 100% sure how strong, but things are getting interesting in the Atlantic. The Atlantic hurricane season is starting to wake up, and we'll continue to update you here on the Pat's Path Predictor channel. We're closing the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps us out, helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.